<laughs> right, let's talk football. Let's <coughs> City champions. Champions. We called it, didn't we? Yeah, it was. It was who did you call, Zane? Chelsea. Oh, right, okay. Chelsea, Chelsea. 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 Did you call? I can't remember Villa. even, actually. Oh, so long ago. That's <laughs> can't remember last week. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I think Man City, though. Yeah, I'll say Man City. Say oh, Man you City. I might as well say that. Yeah. You run over City? Do you know what, though? All, all, the, all the, uh, the pundits and all the television people have been saying this has been a two-horse race. It's never been a two-horse race. And who's the two horses? We've got oh, City. Well, I, I think it's been a one-horse race. It's been a one-horse race since the start of the season. Yeah. I think City was always, always going to win it, weren't they, Ledge? I think they had too much going forward, too much creativity in that midfield. Um, they had the players that was just hit the ground running like your Sterling's. I'll tell you what, Ryan Sterling, he's been a fantastic player this Imagine season. if he could finish. Could you imagine if he could finish? That would be an extra 10, it, it, 15 goals to him a season. It'd be, it'd be actually 20. He likes putting it in the crossbar. He'd be, he'd be past Salah now if he could finish. He must have missed as many as he's... But how much has he improved for you since he's gone to City under Pep? Well, I think without doubt, Pep's helped him immensely. He's improved all the players, hasn't he? That's, the, that's how he's done it, I think. Every yeah. player well, he's got he's he hasn't top, improved Yaya Torre. No, he hasn't played. The, the, <laughs> the, the Dutch guy, you know, what's his name? The uh, really skillful guy, yeah. Dutch. 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 Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne, he's Belgium. Belgium. Oh, Belgium. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's, Belgium. He's, he's got a lot better, hasn't he? Ah, he's, he's, well, he was good he's anyway, wasn't he? He's a top, top player, right. right? But yeah, I, I just think they did, they deserved it. They've they've won it with, what, five games to go? Yeah. Man United nowhere near them. You see what, what Man United are all about. They, they they beat Man City and they lose to West Brom at home. So, does my accumulator no good? No, that killed your accumulator, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, it's no good for me. No, no good for me. I'm still beating Zane, but it's no good for me. I don't know. I'll grab it totaled up at the end of the week. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll come I'm... out on top. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Again. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> Again. So, with this City side that has just gone off and, like Zane said, was never a two-horse race. It was always a one-horse race. Do they have the team and the players and the manager in Pep, if he stays, to go on and dominate the Premier League for the next 10 years? What's your thoughts on that? Well, I, I, I don't see... <sighs> 10 years? Is Pep going to stay there 10 years? I, I'm... Uh, listen, they've got the players there at the moment for the next three or four years. Um, I'm sure it had some players to it as well. They're talking it's... about Mbappe, wasn't they? Well, there's a mm. rumoured rumoured about killing Mbappe. Um, there may be some sort of um, clause in his contract because of Paris's overspending and fair play rules. So he may fall foul to that, which could leave an opportunity for City to come in and sweep him. But again, it's going to be 150, 160 million quid. I know that's not a lot to City because they're run by a country, but listen, is is he? Is, I think they're going to have to buy players for 60, 70, 80, 90 million to improve their team. Yeah, they because, have to. Because, because they've got they're, quality there. There's so much quality there. So it's whether the other teams can, can catch up with them. Because, you know, Man City can't have all the players. As much as they'd like to, they can't yeah. have them all. Yeah. So there are, it's it just, I think it, on recruitment for Man United and for, you know, for Chelsea when they get a new manager in. They're teams that are capable of beating them, beating yeah. Manchester City, but they just the recruitment has to be really good. Yeah, so I'd be interested to see what you know. There's rumours that Pogba's going to go. He's been unsettled. He's, he's not gone well, with Mourinho. So you know, where does he go to, and how much does he get for him, and who who replaces him? And yeah, and I don't, I, I don't mean, you know, I don't think he's been, I think he's been poor for his standards. I think he's been poor. And that's what I think it is. You're right in that. I think with Pogba, he's come in with such a high profile, and rightly so, massive pride stag, and rightly so, because of what he did at Juventus and the way he played at Juventus. And he played with a freedom at Juve. And I think he's coming in now, and I think Jose's style of of play, every time I've watched Paul play, he's almost been like, he's been too restricted, Ledge. Would you say he's been too restricted? And I think he, he was almost released of that duty against City, and he ended up going on... Well, what about West Brom? Is that, well, exactly, he got yeah. taken off at half time. Well, exactly. So, so he, 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 he hasn't been told to do anything. So where's the problem different. then? Is that because of the management or is that because of the players? Well, well it's, 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 the question is, if he was available, would Pep go for him? I don't think so. I, I don't. And if he did go for him, would he improve him as a player? Possibly. I, I think maybe I think they're, so. they're, they're different the way they they manage players. Yeah. But I, in the first place, I don't think he's Pep's sort of player. I, I, I genuinely don't. I think it's all about Paul Pogba. Yeah. Uh, I think the players that he's got, is about the team. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's about how, how the team, most of them, look at them. They're all so team you. You basically saying that Man United is a team of individuals. I, I would say at this moment in time, yeah, they're, they're, they're not a team. But he doesn't train them like you know. The Man City manager will go in and show them what to do where they're going wrong. You know, Mourinho won't be doing that. Yeah, but so as long as he's got, long as he's got, people, that, long as he's got people in that, that that can do that, he hasn't got to do that. He has to man yeah. manage his players. Yeah. You know, I'm not telling him how to do his job, but you have to. If he decided to buy Paul Pogba. 
then, yeah, yeah. then surely you have to look at what sort of person Improving Paul Pogba is off the pitch as well as on yeah, it. Yeah. But you know what's really scary, Ledge? We look at the City side as just won the Premier yeah. League, Ash. Yeah. Right? And we're sitting here... Oh, 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 dear. So oh, it's Ricky, it's Ricky, it's Ricky. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh. Ricky, sorry, sorry. That's a fine zone. Oh, that is that's that's ridiculous. Call him back. Is kid, he no, saying he's got the dear. cabinet, he's on his way? Yeah, yeah add that that's to the unbelievable, oh. honestly. Um, you know, sorry, before he was really interrupted by oh, his I've lost my train of thought. No, we're talking about City. What we're saying about City winning the Premier League with the squad that they have now. Yeah, It's going to be really, really hard to replace or bring people into that team that's going to be better than what they've got yeah. and that's going to be a tough task for them I think yeah. well yeah I think everyone always or they, he'll buy a couple of players he, do, he doesn't need a lot he'll buy a couple of players that'll be fighting for different positions I think you know companies coming towards the but what a massive player the, is for huge them. player huge what player. a massive I does mean, the team get to a peak though and now you couldn't ever improve it whatever player you get do you get to a point no. where you just never you can no, always no. but do you think waves, it always has to come in will, will players like Aguero be jogged off because he's not been playing and he's even will, will somebody get a bargain but I think like Tor- Torre can he still do a job Torre I think Torre's run his course at City um, especially under Pep's regime my personal opinion is that because he's a fatty I think he is you know Pep did make no secrets of he felt he was a little bit Big when he got there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've got to be careful. Like, like your friend Heather. Yeah, but the, the way yeah, they, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the touches the, on the Heather's about the, him. The way the Man City play, you know, that they, they close down quickly. Yeah, they're, they press. They're all and they yeah. press. And, it, and it, if one player can't do it, and it, it leaves a massive a weak link in the yeah. chain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's a very strong and it, and it breaks. Man. And if strong you can't, uh, I mean, he's a listen, he's been a he'll brilliant go, player. He'll go to America or go to China. Yeah, yeah. What about a lower, you know, a Premier Club that's, you know, no. I don't Brandon. think he would. I think he's he's brand and what where that's he's true, been. Yeah. He's too no, big for him to go to maybe. A, a, just no, I just cash. don't don't think he'd like no, to go to a team that's not going to win something. No, and, no, and, no. and he'd be showing up as he's getting older. He'd be showing up that he's not of course quite so as it, good it, now as he was. It might be a LA move for him or somewhere. Yeah, like or that. China probably. Or China. Yeah. Are Man sense. City that far ahead that you can already call next year? I think so. For me, yes, I would be bold enough to say I think they will win it again next season. They're that far ahead, aren't they? Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, I, I think they are. You never know in football. Football is no, a strange no, game. No one no. said Leicester would have won the, no, the title. No, no, fair yeah, no, yeah, no one has said Chelsea won the title you, last year. Based on what you've seen. They're so far ahead yeah, of Yeah, but I, I would have said, even you know, last year, although Man City bought some very, very good players, you would have said Chelsea would be up there because they won the title before. They're basically the same team, but bar, bar, you know, Costa. Sure. Um, so you would have thought they'd been there or thereabouts, but things happen. You know, all of a sudden, if, if Pep does what... Yeah. You know, like the you know Chelsea manager's done, and and he, you know halfway through the season he decides he wants to leave, or something happens that he's not happy with, or and Liverpool, Liverpool all of a sudden the team good, starts they? breaking up. Liverpool, are looking yeah, good, and aren't Liverpool, they? Liverpool, I, I think will challenge him. I think they will. I think he'll buy again, without a doubt. Yeah, um, I think they've got a great chance to win the Champions League, and they've got a lot of energy in their side as well. Liverpool, it's like the old Liverpool a bit, like isn't it? In Russia, yeah. And all that. Well, yeah, they got to win a few trophies to be like the old Liverpool because yeah. they, they won a lot. Well, yeah. They won they everything. Won an awful, awful <laughs> lot. But the you know Champions League, to, you know, for beat Man City comfortably. Uh, got players that, that can. So you just don't know. You just don't know who's going to. Certainly, Liverpool will compete. But with. if you was a betting man, where would you stick your last? Well, I think if you was, if you was, my bets have been awful this year. Um, it's been rigged, by the way. But... Yeah, it's been rigged, obviously. Yeah, by Mr. Groves, but um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, guilty, guilty. <laughs> but yeah, I would. But I, I, I again, like Ash says, I think Liverpool look good. Yeah. If they had a couple to their team, you know, to, to make. I mean, Alexander Arnold. I've been massively impressed with him. I think. Oh, he's, he's been fantastic. I think he's a. He's um, been absolutely fantastic. He's certainly. He's a, certainly a future England player for a long. Yeah, time. No, nothing.